Saudi Aramco Pipelines is the hydrocarbon transportation network for Saudi Aramco and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Responsible for the safe and reliable operations of pipeline networks spanning over 23,000 kilometers kingdom-wide, Saudi Aramco Pipelines uses the best methods and technology to provide the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia with the safest, most reliable hydrocarbon transportation system in the world. Saudi Aramco Pipelines is responsible for transporting the huge volume of oil and gas that is produced in the Kingdom to the processing and export facilities located all over the country. Operating and maintaining the energy arteries of the Kingdom is a huge responsibility that the people of Saudi Aramco Pipelines take on every day. To meet this challenge, we depend on everyone to behave in a safe manner and support our drive for excellence. Saudi Aramco Pipelines is made up of four entities. Northern Area Pipelines Department, Southern Area Pipelines Department, East-West Pipelines Department, Pipelines Technical Services Division. In addition to the line pipe and instrumentation used to transport oil, gas and refined products, Saudi Aramco Pipelines connects east of Saudi Arabia to the Red Sea. A total of 11 pump stations, 5 intermediate pump stations and 2 pressure reducing stations are working simultaneously to achieve this challenging task. Saudi Aramco Pipelines has responsibility for all hot tap and stopple operations in Saudi Aramco. Saudi Aramco Pipelines has a shop in Abkeg that fabricates and maintains the scrapers that are used to clean and maintain the pipelines. Automobile Driving Rules While in a moving vehicle, driver and passenger must wear seat belts. Do not exceed the posted speed limit. Always obey all driving regulations. In addition to these basic driving rules, special precautions need to be taken when travelling along the pipeline and in remote areas. log your travel plans. Ensure your vehicle is in good condition. Carry sufficient water and emergency equipment. Maintain communication. Follow all pipeline right-of-way traffic rules. Be sure you leave room for other vehicles to pass especially when approaching a blind turn or the top of a hill. All pipelines facilities are restricted areas. The right plant access and authorizations must be obtained prior to visiting any of the pipeline's facilities. All personnel are subject to security checks and must use the login and log out system. Personal protective equipment, or PPE, is mandatory for everyone within the facility. Prior to your arrival, inquire with your safety officer, host, 
or the facility supervisor's office as to the PPE required for the specific areas you'll be visiting or working in. The minimum dress code requirements for all pipelines facilities are flame resistant, tight, long sleeve shirts, trousers or coveralls, safety helmet, safety glasses, hearing protection must be used in noisy areas, safety gloves should be used to protect your hands from exposure or injury. Only Saudi Aramco approved steel toe safety shoes or safety boots are allowed to be worn within the facilities. In certain areas or for specific tasks, additional PPE may be required. A face shield must be worn when performing tasks that may expose the face to injury. H2S is a highly flammable, toxic, colourless, transparent gas. At low concentration, H2S smells like rotten eggs. But you should never rely on your smell to identify H2S. The atmosphere in places where H2S could pose a threat must be regularly tested and monitored. You need to practice all of the rules contained in the Aramco Safety Handbook. The handbook includes minimum safety rules and procedures applicable to employees, contractors or anyone performing work activities for Saudi Aramco. Compliance to these rules is a condition of employment for Saudi Aramco employees and a contractual obligation for contractor employees. Please pay special attention to the topics of vehicle safety, work permit procedures, excavation and trenching safety, safe work practices for confined spaces, emergency procedures and incident reporting. Saudi Aramco equipment may only be operated with prior authorization and certification. Requirements for carrying out work. No work shall commence without an approved and authorized work permit. The rules for carrying out permitted work are explained in work permit, receiver and issuer training, in the Saudi Aramco construction safety manual and in your minimum safety rules handbook. Talk to your supervisor or your Saudi Aramco contact for more information and to get access to this information. Any emergency condition shall result in the cancellation of the work permit. Emergency procedures for each facility you may visit will be explained to you by your local representative. As most pipelines are buried, you need to be extra cautious around excavations. To ensure safety during excavations, all utilities and lines shall be properly identified and appropriate parties notified before commencing any excavation works. A qualified person prior to the start of each work shift shall carry out daily inspections. Barricades shall be installed a safe distance from the excavation to protect individuals and mobile operating equipment above the excavation. No personnel are permitted in the excavation or trench when power equipment is being used to perform the excavation. Blinking warning lights shall be used at excavations at night. Mobile phones are not allowed to be used in the plant, except in the designated area. It is not allowed to speak or text on your mobile phone while driving. Smoking is only allowed in designated outdoor areas. Photography and videotaping is not allowed except by authorised personnel. Use of cameras in hazardous classified areas requires a hot work permit. Pipelines Emergency Procedures All unsafe acts, conditions and incidents must be immediately reported, no matter how minor. If you witness an emergency scenario, like injuries, spills, unsafe acts and conditions, near misses, they must be reported immediately to your nearest control room. If you're in control room and you receive the emergency call, using the nearest means of communication, call 110. 
or inform your supervisor immediately. To report an emergency, say, This is emergency, this is emergency, this is emergency. Identify the incident location. Describe the incident. Report any injuries. Give your name and badge number. Repeat all the information. Wait until the control centre confirms receiving the message and ends your call. Alarm siren. During any emergency, stop all work. Remain calm. Turn off all equipment and machinery. If driving, park on the road, turn off the engine and leave the ignition key in the vehicle, ensuring that doors are left unlocked. Avoid any path that may cut across the incident zone. Get to the nearest assembly point, ensuring that it is upwind from the incident zone. Do a head count and report any missing persons. Remain at the assembly point until informed by Incident Post Commander. After all clear is announced, report to your supervisor. Our employees are our greatest assets, so we encourage safety off the job in the same way in which we do safety on the job. We want you to finish each and every day incident and injury free, because there's nothing more important than you being safe at work, on the road and at home. Thank you for watching and listening to our safety orientation video. We hope that you have an enjoyable and safe time during your time in our facilities.